Every time I speak, I want the truth to come out. And even if I get in trouble, you know what I'm saying? That ain't that what we're supposed to do. It's, I'm not saying I'm going to rule the world or I'm going to change the world, but I guarantee that I will spark the, the, the brain that will change the world. You gonna pick me up from jail on this stolen car? I got two strikes already. See what you're gonna do for the movie shit. Sixty Death Row got the movie things. Probably. Everybody else, everybody else doing this music. We got the movies. Well, we got two strikes, up. none left. Two strikes, none left. Ghetto, Ghetto politics. Movies. Yeah. Death Row film. We know. Yeah, we doing some movies shit. That's interesting. I know I'm listening. So this thing we doing with movies, like we doing uh, two strikes, none left, right? It's gonna be starring Tupac and Snoop Dogg, and, it, and the concept of the movie is gonna be a, a action comedy, and you know, like the third three strikes is happening everywhere, all around, everywhere, right? right? So that's what's going on. But see, they gonna get out of jail, and like everybody gonna be betting against them, and saying how long they gonna stay on the street before they go back to jail. So they gonna be trying to do everything they can in the world to keep from going to jail. The person who writing the movie is DJ Pooh. Tupac writing some stuff in there. Mm -hmm. um, Snoop got some input in there. And, uh, yeah. There you go. He got some input in there. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Poodle one did the whole thing on Friday. Yeah, I know. But I they stole it from him, though. Yeah, but I was going to say, you got yeah, Friday. You know, though, yeah, you know, yeah. That was his worst work. Because mm -hmm. he got some way better stuff than mm -hmm. that. But he did the whole thing for Friday, but they mm -hmm. took it from him. Mm -hmm. So, you know, mm -hmm. they didn't give him all his credit. So, you know, once again, you know, Death Row will make sure he get his credit. Mm -hmm. Yo, YouTube, what up? It's your homie Gab, I'm in the building. And this is Machiavelli Media. Right before the downfall of Death Row Records, in 1996, when Death Row Records was at its peak, Suge Knight had the brilliant idea of opening up Death Row Films. And the first movie starring Tupac Shakur out the gate for Death Row would have been Three Strikes. Now, Three Strikes was a comedy, a hood comedy that was written by DJ Pooh. Now that's important because at this time, DJ Pooh was the brains behind the whole Friday movie that ultimately turned into a franchise. Now, the first Friday, with Ice Cube and Chris Tucker and John Witherspoon, DJ Poole probably was responsible for about 90% of everything you've seen in that movie. From the storyline, to the characters, to even some of the script, and he even acted in the movie as well. But when it came time for the accolades and all the credit, all you heard was Ice Cube, Ice Cube. Oh yeah, and then again, Ice Cube. Now I know you heard in this interview, the short clip that I played, a Suge Knight talking about DJ Poole and his involvement with the franchise Friday, or the movie Friday, should I say. And you hear, Suge Knight say they stole it from him. Who the one did the whole thing on Friday? Yeah, I know. But they stole gonna... it from him, though. Yeah, but I was going to say, yeah, I yeah, Friday. You know, though, yeah, huh? mm -hmm. that was his worst work. They stole Friday from DJ Poole. Now, where do you think he got that from? From DJ Poole, <laughs> of course. So here's an opportunity to get somebody that's already involved and making hood movies, hood comedies, because Friday was very successful coming out the gate. It went on to become a cult classic. So Suge was very interested in putting out movies through Death Row. But in my opinion, Suge was probably more interested in putting out movies at Death Row because they had Tupac at this point in time. Now, in the Three Strikes movie, Tupac was supposed to play Rob Douglas, a guy who had just got out of jail. He had already been in trouble twice. California had the whole Three Strikes law there. 
And, you know, they was going to play off of him possibly getting in trouble again. I believe Snoop Dogg was going to play J.J., you know, his friend that picked him up from jail and ultimately got him in trouble as well. And, um, you know, but it's just been a funny movie. You know, the movie didn't come out through Death Row Records. Um, they got the up-and-coming actor Brian Hooks to play Rob Douglas. And, you know, the movie wasn't as big as it probably could have been or should have been. You know, things had went the way it was supposed to go. But Tupac wanted to continue his acting career. He wanted to do films. He had wrote a movie while he was in prison. You know, he couldn't devote the type of time he wanted to into his acting career because of the legal situation he was up against and his newfound responsibilities at Death Row Records, you know, um, recording music. So here was a golden opportunity to keep Tupac happy and to keep him on the label. And it was a golden opportunity for Tupac to put out his own material through Death Row movies, or should I say Death Row films. I don't know how this movie would have hit, though, because we had never seen Tupac play in a comedy, a straight-up comedy. And think about this for a minute. We know Pac was funny. We knew Pac had a sense of humor. Even in his hood classics, like Above the Rim or Juice, he was still kind of comical at times in those characters he played, but he never played in a straight-up comedy. Could you picture Tupac in like a Friday type setting for his movie or script? So we saw what DJ Poole did with Ice Cube, right? So do you think with a successful label like Death Row Records behind him, what do you think DJ Poole could have did with Tupac? Tupac and Snoop Dogg. With his comedic genius and Tupac's talent, and you know, Snoop Dogg starred him or whatever or what have you. Do you think three strikes could have or would have been as big as Friday? Let me know. Leave your thoughts in the comments section. You know, so many of Suge Knight's ideas and you know things I thought he came up with died when Tupac got gunned down out in Las Vegas. Makes me wonder now, were they really Suge's ideas? <laughs> or were they Tupac's ideas? Did Tupac want to open up Death Row East and run it? His label. And did Tupac want to open up Death Row Films? Right? Produce, star in, direct his own movies. It's always the coulda, woulda, shoulda, what woulda happened. We had never know these things. But it's cool to think about and look back at sometimes. Don't forget to sub and like this video. I'm your homie Gab. I'm signing off. I'm about to hit y'all with the peace.